Moses? Yes, ma'am. May I have some of those cookies, Miss Virgie? Of course you may. James Henry, serve these cookies to Master Harold and wipe his chin. Yes, ma'am, Miss Virgie. Another portion of ice cream for you, Miss Gladys? No, thank you. I've had enough. There ain't no more ice cream, Miss Virgin. I'll only ask them once. I won't coax. More cake or ice cream for you, Master Philip? Nothing more for me, thank you. Do you care for more ice cream, Master Harold? Yes. Perhaps you would rather have another nice, great, big piece of cake. No, just ice cream. Servant to young Master Hal. Seemed like he could have just rushed over and took it. Still this roundabout way. That child of yours is certainly the perfect hostess. She takes after her mother. I can easily understand why you two worship her. I'm afraid that's a failing common to all parents. Listen, everyone. Listen. How would you like to see Uncle Billy dance? Oh. All right, James Henry. Let's get going, son. and talk right out to Miss Virgin. Don't be scared. Hello, Sally Ann. Hello, Dana. Hello. Good morning, Sally Ann. Miss Virgin? Please, ma'am. We all didn't come here to wish him any happy, happy returns. That's it. Many happy returns of the day. And we all done made you a dollar. Here it is. Miss Virgie, there was more I had to say, but, Sally, I forgot it. <laughs> you said everything, Sally Ann. Don't you worry. This is the very nicest present I got. Thank you ever so much. Yes, indeed, children. It was very thoughtful and sweet. Come now, dear. I'll see you later, and I'll save you some cake. Oh, you'll be waiting.
fired on this morning, sir. War is declared. Means you ought to present yourself at the armory immediately, sir, with horse and side arms. All men of the Richmond Graves report the city before nightfall. Captain Carey, send a slave down the valley to report the news. I'm riding off among the river plantation. Thank you, sir. Hurrah! Boy, you make a big scratch. Thank you, Mac. I reckon I better get your things together. I'll leave just as soon as I can. Mrs. Carey, I think we ought to get the children home. The road may be filled with soldiers before night. That's true. We'll be mobilizing tonight and tomorrow. Tom, get the carriages ready as quickly as you can. Yes, ma'am. everybody out of my party like that. The mammas have to get them home quick. You see, honey child, there's going to be a war. What's a war? Well, a war is a lot of soldiers in battles where men kill each other with guns. Really and truly kill each other? Yes, ma'am. Why? Seem like to me, honey, no one knows why. I hear a white gentleman say there's a man up north who wants to free the slaves. What does that mean, free the slaves? I don't know what it means myself. It's funny, isn't it? I see the Yankees here last week. When they say march, they start. When they say halt, they stop. Well, that's just why I do it different. I wouldn't do anything those Yankees do. Look! Here they come again, Miss Betty. Look! Come on, come on, Miss Come on, Miss Virgie. I'm not going to run. They love hurt you. I just won't budge. I'll show them I'm not afraid. I am. Ain't you a speck afraid, Miss Virgin? No, I'm not. What are you afraid of them for? Oh, honey child, them Yankees is mighty powerful. They can even change the weather. Yes? Whenever they come around, I never know whether it's winter or summer. I'm shivering and sweating at the same time. Don't tell Mother they're coming. I think I better. Who did that? I did. 
Well, you're truthful anyway. My mommy and daddy taught me never to tell a lie. They're right. Who are you? I'm a Confederate. So you're a little rebel, eh? I'm not a rebel. My daddy said so. I'm a Confederate. Your daddy a soldier? He's the best soldier in the whole world. Is he around here now? I wouldn't tell you if he was. And a lot of spunk, haven't you? Well, I'm not afraid of you. Well, I'm glad you're not. I think it'd be awful if a nice little girl like you were afraid of me. <laughs> Nevertheless, you better mind your manners, young lady. And don't use that slingshot again. I wish I was in Dixie. Hooray, hooray. In Dixie land, no take my stand to live and die in Dixie. Away, away, away down south in Dixie. Away, away, away down south in Dixie. Yes, Virgie. When is Daddy coming to see us again? Oh, we can't tell, darling. He's a long distance away, and it's not so easy as it was. Why isn't it? Because we're in enemy territory now. What does enemy territory mean? Well, it means that the Yankees have captured this land, and it doesn't belong to us anymore. And every time that Daddy comes to see us, he has to cross through the enemy lines. And that's very dangerous. I can't understand it. I say my prayers every night, and I say a special prayer for Daddy to come and see us. But it doesn't seem to do any good. So yesterday, I started praying in the daytime, too. I prayed twice yesterday, and I prayed three times a day. I'm sure to work now, Mommy. Tears? Joy. Me too, Daddy. Look. Southerners never cry. Oh, what are these things then? Raindrops. On a sunshiny day? Ah. Uh... No. Can you stay long this time, Daddy? Not this time either, darling. I have to get right on. I'll see if Rosabelle has your lunch ready. Are they getting a fresh horse for me? Everybody knows just what to do. We package it every day. Oh, God love you. Miss Virgin, I brought you some water and a towel. I thought maybe Master Care would like to wash his face. Thank you, James Henry. Didn't nobody tell me to do it either. I thought of it all by myself. <laughs> well, you must be thinking better than you used to, James Henry. Yes, well, Master Kerr. I even think more often now. <laughs> James Henry! Yes, Miss Virgin. Didn't I tell you to bring this water? That's right, it was you. I thought it was Uncle Billy. What was that I snuck up all by myself? Oh, yes. I was going to polish Master Kerr's boot. Didn't nobody tell me to do that, did they? Never mind my boots, James Henry. Go water my horse. Yes, Master Kerr. <sighs> Daddy, hmm? are we winning the war? Well, things are going along. Will it last much longer? No, I hope not. Do you have to work hard in the war? Well, we all have to do our share. But every time I see you, you're always so tired. Well, I'm not tired now. You're giving me new strength. I miss you, Daddy. Do you miss me? Mm -hmm. Indeed I do. 
You know what I miss you the most? At twilight, when you used to sing to me. Let's pretend it's twilight now, Daddy. <laughs> now you just close your eyes and make out your card, and I'll sing you now. change by tomorrow and sleep in my arms like fairy gifts fading away. Thou would still be adored as this moment thou art. Let thy loveliness fade as it will. And around the dear ruin each wish of my heart would entwine itself vertically still. <laughs> Why, I was humming in my sleep. Ah, oh, you were not. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's bringing up another horse. That's fine. Oh, well, Tom. Yes, Master Carey. Give him some water and fill those saddlebags with oats. Yes, Master Carey. Better get going while the coast is clear. I'd better find out why Sheridan's army is camping and report to General Lee before nightfall. I'm so worried about you on these scouting expeditions. If they catch you, you'll be shot as a spy. As long as they don't find any dispatches on me, as long as I'm not wearing a Yankee uniform, I'd only be arrested as a prisoner of war. As if that weren't bad enough. Please be careful. You know I will. I'll push. It'll make you go faster. Oh, go on now. Go on, hurry. Oh, how is she, Uncle Billy? Oh, fine, Mascara, fine, sir. We's only got two left, but they're both good, sir. Two left? Well, I've had to sell or trade nearly all the stock for food. That is, all that weren't stolen. I've saved the horses till the last, knowing you might need them. Why didn't you tell me? This is the part of the war we women must fight, darling. <laughs> I pushed the oats all the way from the stables, Daddy. It's a wonder this lazy jackass didn't eat him up on the way. <laughs> Gone back to that stable, boy. Yankees, Miss Kurt! Yankees! They've got it! Go ahead, son. I got it. Goodbye, darling. Don't be afraid. Please be careful. Goodbye, honey. Oh, Daddy. Come on, darling. Daddy has to hurry. Let, let's see you smile. Oh, that's only a half one. Come on now. Give Daddy a grand big fat smile. Oh, that's fine. Come on, Mascara. Hurry, please, sir. I'll try to cross the river the other side of the old mill. I can hide in the woods until they're gone. If I get over, I'll fire three quick shots to let you know I'm safe. Keep them here as long as you can. I'll need all the time I can get. Goodbye, dear. God ride with you, darling. Oh, Daddy. Yes, dear. Give all my love to General Lee. I will, honey. Dad! Dad! Where's them Yankees at? They're just turning off the main road, Uncle Billy. Get that corn from the barn into the house. Yes, quick! Come on, Jill. Come on, hurry. Are they inside yet? Oh, no, Miss Gary. Here, you put this away. I'll watch. Yes, ma'am.
you get in the drawing room and start sewing just like you surprised to see him. Yes, Uncle Billy. Rest of you out in the stable, quick. Uncle Billy, do you think the Yankers will find us in the secret room? Don't you be a scared child. There ain't nothing to worry about. There is something to worry about if you's white. What you mean? They won't hurt us because we slaves. They is fighting for us. But if you's white and southern, then you's the enemy. Oh, don't pay him no mind. Come on, children, get in there and hide. All right, Uncle Billy. Get in now. You too young to see anything. That may happen. What's the matter, Miss Virgie? My dress is gone. For a man they ain't gonna hurt, you do a powerful lot of shivering every time the Yankees comes around. My mind said they ain't gonna hurt me, but my body don't believe it. Where's Mr. Carey? I don't know. I ain't seen her. Hand up, you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're looking for a spy. Is there a rebel hiding in this house? No, sir. No, sir, Master General. Nobody at all, sir. Who lives here? Mr. Carey, sir. Is she married? Yes, sir. Where's her husband? Uh, Is he a rebel? I Is he a rebel? He's away in the war, sir. In the Confederate Army? Yes, sir. Where is she? She's around, but I don't know where, sir. Search the house, men. She's hiding someone. If she wasn't, she'd be here. Yes, sir. Come on, men. Barnes, Barney, Robinson, upstairs. Rescue men take the lower floor, start in back. Please, yes. deploy all your men. Bring me a drink. We ain't got nothing, sir, except an apple cider. Well, bring me that. Yes, sir, Mark Jim. You, get me something to eat. Well, we ain't got Get me something to I'm eat. Not, sir. Here's something, men. Keep it covered. Yes, sir. I just on my way out. What were you doing in that closet? I, I went in there to get me some air. Oh, you go into a dark closet to get air, do you? Yes. You see, I'm a man who likes to change his air. I get tired of that regular old air. So every little once in a while, I'll go in some place and get me some good closet air. <laughs> come on, come on, get out of here. Search it, men. Nobody back there, sir. Any trap doors in the floor? Couldn't find any, sir. I'll keep your eyes open. Yes, sir. Watch for secret panels. These houses all have them. <laughs> Why did you drop that picture? It just slipped off the tray, sir. Slipped, eh? It slipped when I said something about secret panels. That's when it slipped, didn't it? No, sir. I didn't even hear you say it, sir. Now listen, you. Sergeant. Sergeant. Find anything? These oats out in front, and the ground nearby was wet as though a horse had been watered and the saddlebags filled. These oats ain't been there ten minutes. The sun hasn't even turned them yet. Search the stables and rush the men down to the river near that old mill. That's where he'll cross if he gets away. Yes, sir. Come on, boys. Here, take this to the kitchen and get the general some more cider. Sergeant. Find anything? Nothing up there. It's a trap door in the kitchen. I'm going to find out what's under it. Let's look around. What are you doing here to that wall? You've been lying. Uh, come on. I've got something. Look at this. There must be somebody in there. It's a secret panel. It ain't nothing, sir. Open it. It's just a wall, sir. Bust it in. Wait a minute. I'll open it. It's just two little babies in there. That's all. Well, this ain't much to get excited about. Nothing to eat, eh? And no liquor. Well, this is pretty good. Hurry up. Get out of here. Come on. Come on, get out of here. Hurry up. Get one of those hams and have it cooked. Yes, sir. You boys can get yourselves a couple of drinks, too. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. the 
scuppers. Come here, you. Pull off these boots. Well, you little black rascal, I'll tan your hide for this. Come here, you little rascal. You let me do. You let me do. White by gad. Who told you to put that black on? I guess your daddy told you to do it. Your daddy's a soldier, isn't he? Why, well, I wouldn't hurt a little girl like you. Maybe you'll tell me where your daddy is. I'd like to talk to him. Come here, you. She didn't mean nothing, Master. Don't you dare touch that child. I mean, Stop it. 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 Stop I didn't mean to shove you. Don't you hurt my mother. Don't you dare hurt my mother. Don't let her alone. Hey, hey. What's going on here? Are you hurt, madam? No. Who's in command here? I am, sir. Do you know what he did? He broke our table, and he wanted to hurt me, and he threw my mommy down the stairs. Put that loot back where you got it. Lieutenant Hurst. Yes, sir. Take him outside and give him 25 lashes. Beat him till he bleeds. Investigate the others. And if you find any of them guilty, give them five lashes each. Yes, sir. Come on, Dudley. I can't tell you how sorry I am, madam. And you too, miss. Why, you were crying, weren't you? Not very much. You look like you've been climbing up the chimney. Your men were the cause of it. Just wait till I tell my daddy about this. He'll go and kill your whole Yankee army. And I won't blame him a bit. Blow. Thank you. Now you run along and play. There's a rebel scout, madam, known to be in this neighborhood. I'm sorry to have to question you after what's already occurred, but it's necessary. I know nothing of him. I happen to know that you do. He's your husband. Have you seen him today? No. Would you tell me if you had? Would you expect me to? I'm afraid not. What is it, Sergeant? We found a horse in a corral a half mile below here, sir. Showed signs of having been ridden hard a short while ago. He changed horses here. Send five men to the river. Put two sharpshooters on the roof of that old mill so they can cover both banks. Yes, sir. What's that? A godsend. In that case, I'm afraid there's no longer any necessity for my staying. Good day, madam. And good day to you, you little rebel. Sergeant! Yes, sir? Not a man of that order. He's already across. All right. We're going back to camp. Yes, sir. I think we should stay here a second long, Mr. Carey. The Yankees is already down by the East Pass, and we is right in the line of fire. You better hurry. The shells is dropping in the yard now. Please hurry. Don't be afraid. Thank you. 
Excuse me, Captain. One of your slaves is outside, wants to see you. He says it's very important. What? One of my slaves? Yes, sir. How could you have gotten through the Yankee lines? Send him in. Yes, sir. Oh, Master Carey, thanks to luck I found you, sir. What is it, Uncle Billy? Mr. Carey, she's awful sick, sir. Sick? Yes, sir. I was afraid, Master Carey. I was afraid, sir. She keeps asking for you all the time. Well, what happened? Well, sir, they fought right in front of the house. The house was burned down. Miss Carey, she catch her death of cold. She's coughing bad. How long has this been going on? She was sick for three weeks and getting worse. Then I decided I'd better fetch you. I've been going from camp to camp looking for you for over a week now. Most of the slaves run away. And Virgie? How's little Virgie? Oh, she's fine, sir. Never complain about nothing and always cheerful. She's been a great comfort to Miss Carey. But I was afraid Miss Carey needs you now, sir. I'll get a leave of absence right away. Yes, sir. I've got some logs in the river covered with brush. We can flow down past the Union camps, then cut inland, cross through the Chickahominy Swamp. Well, hurry, we'll have to get into the swamp before daybreak. Yes, sir. Here's the Union camp now, sir. Only an hour before daylight. Do you think we can do it, Moss Carey? Well, we can try. Come on. Mommy. Yes, dear. Much better. I got a whoopie lung before Daddy is here, and he'll make everything all right. You'll see. We, we mustn't be too sure, darling. Then we won't be so disappointed if he doesn't get here. Perhaps Uncle Billy didn't get through the Yankee lines. Uncle Billy can do anything. He can sing and dance and climb trees and do everything in the world. I know he can bring Daddy back. Mother's very proud of you, darling. I'll be right back. <coughs> Rosabelle, you're crying. No, Miss Virgie. I ain't crying, child. My eyes have kind of slipped. Well, my daddy will be here soon, and then your eyes won't have to slip. Yes, Miss Virgie. doing there, James Henry? Well, I sleeps in that kitchen. And I want to hear them Yankees when they are coming. So I dug this hole. I was going to cover it over. So when they walk across it, they'll fall in. But they'll make a heap of noise. And then I'll hear them. And I'll start running. I hope nobody else falls in it. Yes, ma'am. Look, here comes Uncle Billy now. But he didn't bring Daddy. Here comes Daddy! Master Carey's coming! Praise the Lord! Daddy! Daddy! My <laughs> darling. Praise the Lord, Mr. Carey. He does come. The whole Yankee army can stop him. He does come. Thank heaven. I had 
had to live till you got here. And a new bird you'd be, see? Mm. Please don't talk like that, dear. Didn't I tell you that Uncle Billy would find a mummy? Yes, dear. I bet now that Daddy is here, it won't be long before we have a great big house again. What a Daddy. No, darling. Oh, Daddy. I wish Mommy didn't have to be sick. Shh. You've got to be a brave little girl, darling. Well, can I be brave and wish Mommy wasn't sick, too? Of course, Virgie. Mother isn't going to be sick much longer now. She's going to sleep, darling. And if there are dreams in that sleep, oh, my darling. How I'll dream of you. Oh, Daddy, I had a dream last night. I dreamed Mommy and you were putting me to bed. And do you remember how you used to tell me fairy tales? Come on, honey child. All right. What is it, Uncle Billy? Something wrong? No, honey child. There is something wrong. It's about my mommy. Daddy, what is it? Something happened to my mommy. Something very beautiful, darling. That's how you must always think of it. That mom will never be ill again. Frightened or discouraged. She never suffered anymore. Just, just think of it as beautiful. Yes, honey. You won't ever leave me, will you? No, I'll never let you out of my arms again. Uncle Billy. Yes, Mascara? There hasn't been a Yankee patrol through here since morning. There's bound to be one soon. Get Miss Virgie's things ready. You mean you're going to take Miss Virgie with you, Mascara? Yes. Through the Yankee line? I've got to get her to my sister in Richmond. She'll be safe there. But, Captain, it's dangerous. You can't do it, sir. Yankees, Daddy! All of you go back to your cabins, but don't hurry. Roosevelt, you go with them and see that they don't talk. Uncle Billy, you wait outside and watch. Yes. Come, honey. Don't you stop, lad. always taught you never to tell a lie. Oh, I never have, Daddy. I know. And Mama's proud of you for it. But if those Yankees should come in here, you've got to tell them a lie. You want me to tell a lie? Just this once, honey, for Daddy's sake. And in a case like this, it really isn't a lie. If they should stop here and they ask you, tell them I was here, but I left an hour ago, and you saw me cross the river. Now, be a brave little Confederate, darling. Do this for me. Daddy? Hmm? Would General Lee want me to tell that lie? Yes, dear. This once. All right, then I'll tell a whopper. Please come in, Mascara. Here, have no this. Uh, don't be frightened when they come. Act as though you didn't know they were here. All right, Mascara. Uh, put that table back up against the wall. And remember now, act as though nothing had occurred. Dance or a play or something. We will, Daddy. You got your mouth open? Yes. Well, get ready to use it. Sergeant, take your men and search that woods. Carrie's around here, and this time we've got to get him. 
He's given us a slip long enough. Hurry now, move fast. Yes, sir. All right, men, let's go. Quite a concert. And how is the littlest rebel of them all? Fine, Yankee. Just fine. <laughs> you mind if I warm my hands at your fire? No, sir. You two all alone here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My daddy was here, but he left an hour ago. Is that so? Yes, sir. He was here. But he left an hour ago, and I saw him cross the river. Well, now, that's very interesting. I know another dance. Oh, yes, sir. She know a lot of dances. Now dance for the gentleman, honey child. What was your father doing here? My mommy was very sick. And she kept asking for Daddy. So yesterday, Uncle Billy brought him. And this morning, my mommy went away. Is that true? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. But my Daddy says I must always think of it as beautiful. Your Daddy's right. You see, I have a little girl, too, just about your age. And I feel awful sorry if her mommy went away. Has your little girl got a pony? And a car. Does she get enough to eat and everything? Yeah, the table out in the center of the room, eh? No, sir. No, sir. Well, what are those tracks? I made them with my foot. Is that a trap door in the ceiling there? No, sir. There ain't nothing up there. Nothing at all, sir. You've been lying to me. No, sir, I haven't. Your father's here now. No, sir, he isn't. You know he is. He was here, but he left an hour ago, and I saw him cross the river. You tell me the truth, or I'll give you the worst Just thing Just a ever. minute. Drop your pistol. Now come down and keep your hands up. Oh. Back over against that door. Turn around and keep those hands up. All right, you can drop them now, but no funny business. Oh, Daddy, I didn't do it right, did I? Yes, you did, darling. Daddy's proud of you. I said just what you told me to. You were perfect. And I was only fooling about the whipping. I really wasn't going to. <laughs> Run outside, darling. Daddy will call you. Come on, Uncle Billy. Can you arrange so that my arrest won't frighten her? I'll try. Thanks. Any papers on you? No, I'm not scouting this trip, Colonel. I came home to bury my dad, take my little girl to Richmond, where my sister is. I see. Oh, come on, let's get it over with. I'm afraid I won't be able to... to bid my little girl goodbye. I understand. Well, you tell her I've gone back to General Lee. I'll return soon. Yes, we're just about fit. What? The Yankee uniform. What do you mean? You know the Cawthright plantation? Well, I left the uniform there to be mended by the slaves. If you stole that uniform, I don't know how I could stop you. You mean 
If you were wearing a Union uniform and had a pass through the lines, you'd stand a mighty good chance of making Richmond. Where would I get a pass? From me. I don't think my country expects me to make war on babies. I don't know what to say. Of course, you realize what it means if you're caught in my uniform. Aren't you taking an awful chance yourself, Colonel? War's full of chances. I won't forget this. I hope you get through. God bless you. There's just one thing I ask. In passing through our lines, whatever you see or hear, forget. My word of honor. Daddy, Daddy! Yeah, the stolen is coming back. Get out the back way. Follow the woods to Cartwright's. Daddy, hmm? is the Yankee man going to be nice? A man couldn't be nicer than he's being. You see, you made me think of my little girl. I do all the time. You weren't going to whip me. Come on, honey. We've got to hurry. Come on. Good luck. You're nice enough to be a confederate. Bye, Billy. Any sign of him? Not a thing, Colonel. Well, you men better come in and warm up. There's a fire in here. Yes, sir. No trace at all, eh? No. But I'm sure he's still around here. They buried his wife just an hour ago. Look, there goes somebody. A man and a child? Yes, they're headed for the woods. That's a slave and he's picking any. They just left here. They're all right. Yes, but the Yanks around here may recognize me. I don't want to use the pass until, until we get out of this neighborhood. This isn't a good neighborhood anyway. No. Come on. Oh! Where are you going, sir? Taking this child to her father just beyond our lines. Colonel Morrison sent me. Here's a pass. Have you got a little girl, mister? No, I've got a boy. Where'd you come from? Curious plantation, left at noon. Why aren't you using the main road? Full of artillery going the other way. How old is your little boy? Five. Oh, well, I'm six. My boy's bigger than you. He is? Yes. This looks all right, but I don't know. We got special orders to be on the watch for Captain Carey, a rebel scout. Didn't you hear? They caught him this morning. They did? Yeah, Morrison's man at his own plantation. What's your regiment? 72nd Vermont. It's all right, then. You'll find them camped just a mile below here. Go ahead. Thanks. Oh, Daddy, you told a fib. Well, this is war, honey. Why isn't it a sin to tell a fib in war? I don't know why it isn't a sin to do any of the things we do in war. What's the 72nd Vermont? Well, that's a regiment of soldiers I have no intention of meeting. Colonel Morrison asked me to take this child to Greensburg, just north of our lines. Here's his pass. Colonel Morrison? Yes. Where was he? Carey Plantation, about 18 miles south of here. When did you leave there? Why, the... We left there at 12 o'clock today. Oh, you know all the answers, too, huh? Yes, sir. I'm six years old. Well, I guess you're all right. Go ahead. Wait a minute. I want to see that kid. Whose child is this? Friend of Colonel Morrison's. Ever see me before? No. You didn't, eh? Don't you remember the shoe polish? No. Well, I do. Her old man's the most dangerous scout in the Rebel Army. This looks mighty funny to me. Look at him! Hurry up! Hit him off! Take them all roads! 
Get her in the seat. Quick, honey. Keep your hands up. Are you armed? No. Let's see. All right, we'll go back. Follow us. Captain? Yes? I'm afraid I've got to give you some bad news. The appeal was denied, huh? Every finding of the court-martial was upheld. That means? Yes. When does the party take place? The morning of the 27th, at dawn. Well, I still have six days. Any messages you want sent? I'd be glad to do anything I can, Captain. You've been very kind. Especially so in getting Uncle Billy here to look after my little girl. I appreciate that. I wish there was something I could really do, Captain. That child has literally captured us all. Colonel. Yes, I know. I heard you. No chance at all, eh? No. And it's my little party set for the morning of the 27th, too? I'm sorry, Colonel. He's innocent, Major. All he did was try to help a child. The evidence we couldn't overcome, Colonel, was the fact that you not only gave him a pass, but that he was wearing your uniform. I stole that uniform. We couldn't make them believe that. I'd hope we could. I'll be about, Colonel, if there's anything you want done. Thank you, Major. Well, it was a gamble and we lost. I have no regrets. When I think of my own little baby, I do the same thing over again. Why is a shoe called a shoe? What? I says, why is a shoe called a shoe? What do you mean, why is a shoe called a shoe? Well, the world is full of names. They could have picked out any other name. Who could? Whoever did. I don't know who was. Man, what are you talking about? Why is a shoe called a shoe? Master Kai says, that shows you got brains when you're thinking about things. I spent all day yesterday thinking, why is a horse called a horse? Oh, shut your mouth, will you? What time is it now, Uncle Billy? I heard the town clock strike three a while back, Miss Bersie. Well, we'll have to hurry. Daddy always expects me at 3.30. He says it makes his afternoon seem shorter. There. That's done. Shall I brush your clothes now, honey child? Yes, please. Do you think they'll keep Daddy locked up in that place long, Uncle Billy? No, ma'am. I'm afraid they won't, honey. You're afraid? You don't want my daddy to Oh, no, no, child. I expect they take him out pretty soon now. Last night, when I said my prayers, I asked God to let Daddy out of there. And, and I asked him for a new dress, too. And then I thought, maybe, that was too much to ask. So I told God he didn't have to bother about the dress. Is that right, Uncle Billy? Yes, that was right, honey. But if you want that dress, I'll kind of slip a little hint in my prayers tonight. Now, Uncle Billy, if you look sad when we get there like you did yesterday, I'll never take you again. No, ma'am, I won't. We've got to smile so Daddy will think we're happy. I will, honey. You'll see. You ready now? Yes, all ready. James Henry, you wait here until we get back. Yeah. Oh, I eat watermelon and I have four years Sing polly wally doodle all a day I like watermelon but it wet my ears Sing polly wally doodle all a day Baby grass tastes good to a moot cow's mouth Sing polly wally doodle all a day But I like 
chicken, cause I brought them south. Sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Fare thee well. Farewell. Fare thee well. Farewell. Mr. Gloom, be on your way. If you think you're gonna worry, you can stop it in a hurry. Sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Oh, the woodpecker picks till he gets his fill. Sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. But the woodpecker pays cause it's on his bill. Sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Oh, I feed my pigs with molasses yam. Sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. So they should be sweeter than they really am. Sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Fare thee well. Farewell. Fare thee well. Farewell. Mr. Gloom, be on your way. Though you haven't any money, you can still be bright and sunny. Sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Did you like it, Daddy? You have charge of Captain Carey's little girl, haven't you? Yes, sir. I was one of his slaves, sir. I want to speak to you a moment. Yes, sir. That was lovely, darling. Come on now, tell me what you've been doing. Oh, I sewed up a hole in my dress. Mrs. Rubber let me sweep the stoop. Why, you're becoming a regular little housewife. Daddy, hmm? when are they going to let you out? No, 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 no. Come on now, tell me what you've been doing. Well, there's a little girl who lives across the street, and she has a pony, and she let me ride on it. That's grand. And she gave me some candy. And she's a yank. And she said she didn't care whether I was a rebel or not. And I said I didn't care whether she was a yank. Even if there is a war, she was awfully nice to me. Daddy. Yeah? When she was so nice, and Colonel Morrison so nice, and Mrs. Robin, why do the rest of the people have to kill each other? I don't know, honey. We grown-ups haven't as much sense as you children. This isn't money enough but it's all I can spare. I'll give you a letter to him. He may help you, I don't know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You've got four days to try it in. It's worth taking the chance. God bless you. I'll start right now, sir. Daddy? Yes, dear? I don't want to leave. Well, perhaps you'd better, darling. And tomorrow you can come again, hmm? You're not leaving without saying goodbye to me, are you? No, I was going to kiss you goodbye, and then tomorrow when I come, I'll do all the talking with you. Oh, you switch around, eh? Well, Daddy said you tried to help us, so I made you my second Daddy. Nothing so nice ever happened to me. We got to hurry, Missy. Goodbye, Yankee. Goodbye, Rebel, darling. Goodbye, Daddy. God love you, honey. I'll come tomorrow. All right, sweetheart. Goodbye, Moss Carey. Goodbye, Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, Colonel Marshall, sir. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye, darling. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uncle Billy, isn't there any way we can get them out of there? Honey, that soldier man give me some money. He's going to write me a letter to give to a judge up in Washington. He said there's just one way, but I don't know if we got enough money to get there. Please, sir, how much is the railroad fare for a colored man to Washington? Six dollars and twenty cents. And how much for the little girl, sir? Uh, she's a little too tall for half fare. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm standing on my toes. This is my right size. <laughs> All right. It'll be nine dollars and sixty cents for you. First class. Thank you, sir. Have you gotten up? No, child. It's going to take more money than what we got. How do people get money? I know how to get some more money. Come on, honey child.
656. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. We got enough now, honey, for railroad fat. Come on, child. You may go in now. Thank you, sir. Come on, Uncle Billy. Come right in. Miss Virginia Carey and Uncle Billy? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. President. How do you do, my dear? Very nicely, thank you, sir. And how are you, Uncle Billy? Judge Van Allen told me about this case. Yes, sir. He's the gentleman the soldier man sent me to. Come over here. Tell me all about it. Ah. That's nicer. My daddy and Colonel Morrison are in prison, and they're going to shoot them. Your father is a captain in the Confederate Army. Yes, sir. Arrested as a spy. My daddy isn't a spy. Do you know what a spy is? I know it's something bad because they shoot you for it. And my daddy couldn't do anything bad. I don't see how he could either. With a little one like you. Thank you kindly, sir. Tell me about it. My daddy went away to the war. And then the Yankees came around our house, and sometimes my daddy came home. Was he in uniform? Yes, sir. What color? Gray. I see. Thank you, sir. Then there were so many Yankees around, my daddy couldn't come home anymore. Then they burnt down our house, and my mommy got sick and had to go to bed in Uncle Billy's cabin. No, that's yours. I had the last piece. That's right. We had nothing to get her medicine with, Mr. President. The soldiers took most everything we had. And Mommy kept asking for my daddy all the time she'd ask. No, that's mine. You had the last piece. I beg your pardon. You forgot that, so. So Uncle Billy went and brought my daddy back home. The next day, my mommy went away. <laughs> there, there, don't cry. You're a great big girl. You mustn't cry. <laughs> I won't. What happened next? Then the Yankees came, and my daddy had to hide in the garret. Then Colonel Morrison came in. He talked to me. He's awfully nice. He has a little girl, too, just my age. Then he found Daddy. And Daddy told him about wanting to take me to my Aunt Caroline in Richmond so I could get enough to eat. That's why the Colonel gave Master Carey to pass her, just so he could bring Miss Burgess where she could be taken care of. I see. Now, on this trip, before your Daddy was captured, 
Did he write down anything on paper or anything? No, sir. Did he ever stop and look at the Yankee soldiers or count them? Or look at the cannons? No, sir. He told me that if we got to Richmond and anyone asked me what I had seen, I was in honor bound not to tell them. He told you that? Yes, sir. Because Colonel Morrison asked him not to see anything, and my daddy gave his word and they shook hands. John. Yes, Mr. President? Mr. President. Yes, Miss Virgin? You won't let them shoot my daddy and Colonel Morrison, will you? Rush this by special courier to General Grant. Yes, Mr. President. Is this yours? No, it's yours. I have the last piece. There, there now. All your terrible fears are over. Your father and Colonel Morrison are going free. Oh, I hate to hear a chocolate drop sing Polly Wooly Doodle Lolly Day. But I love to hear a lollipop sing Polly Wooly Doodle Lolly Day. Fare thee well. Fare thee well. Fare thee well. Mr. Gloomy. You think you're gonna worry you? 